Hallo, ik ben Christy. Ja, en wat wil je graag, Christy? Ik wil graag... Uh... Een bobkapsel. Een bobkapsel. Ja, met, met highlights eigenlijk te doen. Ja, met highlights. Ja. Wil je alsjeblieft een rondje draaien? Wil je turn around? Christy wants a bob hairstyle. She has a natural curly hair that you don't see now, but uh, certainly will come out. And she wants a bob. Thank you. Hello, friends on YouTube. We're going to do this young lady's hair. Now, she wants uh, some highlights into her hair. This uh, natural color is lighting up by the sun. First, start with uh, pointing up the hairs and then put all the protection. We'll cut a bob with a TCC1 care cut of Jaguar. It's a hot scissor. It's very warm in our studio at the moment. So all is a bit sticky. And she follows me on YouTube for many, many years. So that's why she's here. She saw my uh, invitation on YouTube and reacted on that and that's why she's here. That's a bit scared. <laughs> Normally. Put on the cape. I use a cape that is not really synthetic because it's too, too warm for that. Start by wetting the hair and using a new brush. The new brush I use is from Olivia Garden and it's a very nice brush. It looks a bit like Tangle Teaser. It massages the head and it's also very soft to the hairs. But really, really wonderful, and there are uh, pig's hairs between the synthetic hairs, so they adapt all the uh, characters of your own uh, structure and your own hair. They come in blue, green, and pink. And in our shop, they sell very fast. Very Yeah, Yes, okay. Pin the hairs over the skull bone and set them aside. And start with the neckline because that's the most important line to get the bobbin. The first line I do with a normal scissor because the hot scissor is 140 degrees Celsius and I would take it on the line of the bob line and she would burn her skin and that I don't want. I'll turn it red so you can see what I'm doing. Now watch it, the natural falls off her hair. I can see there's a lot of movement in it. I certainly will use the movement and then I can get into the skull line. The skull line is a soft uh, A bob and that I will bring on her. Starting just by laying the hairs in the natural fall, go to the center. get in a straight line. This is just my first line. Watch it on the lines of the small hairs of the neckline. And what I mostly do is this turns I take away because they give a lot of disturbing into the bob so that's why I take them away. This I do with a clipper go into the natural lines and only take away the sides of these small hairs. And when the hair grows back, it will certainly fall much much nicer in the natural falls. Do this of course on both sides. Now I've created myself the first line of the bob line, so you see it's a wonderful line to work on. And now I'm going to work with the TC Swan care cut. Take about a centimeter of her hair, stay working the same lines, so part hairs in the same line as I will create the bob, and then working up to the upper levels. The only thing a TC Swan has is a wire, but that can be ignoring, so I took a rubber band put it on my arm so the wire is hanging on my arm so it never gets into the face lines of the model or the person I'm working on. Lay the hairs over the skull bone 
in the natural lines and create the first line of my bob. Is that minder spannend aan het worden? Ja. Dus leer je ziet niks, hè? Nee, ik zie niet. Nee. Maar je hebt geluk, je kunt het straks al terug zien. En het lijkt als les erbij ook. Ja. Parts hebben. On the other side, take the hairs down, find me the connection to the line I just cut, bend my fingers down, and creating the right side of this spot. Now what I'm going to do is I graduate the bob a bit, so I turn my fingers to the inside and with a point cut technique, first very small one, I bend the hairs into the lines where I like to have them fall. So that's why I do this. And do this on both sides. So when I go over the center of the hairs, bend them the other way around, I put a point cut technique in it. And free and start to control the line. And so we'll work up till we get all the layers done and then start on the sides. Going to the center of a skull, lay all the hairs in the natural fall, lift them up a bit, then turn my fingers in. And connecting the last line on this pop. Then I'm going to start on the sides. In the meantime, I control the length by taking the sides to each other and watch if they come together on the center line. And they did. Lay the hairs nicely over the roundings of the skull. Always use the roundings of the skull. The skull is the most important uh, shape a person has because they cannot sh shape the other skull line. I always have them. Now I've cut all the lines from the ears on the back of her head. So now I turn her and come and connect the lines to the front. And Holland is not America, so we don't have air coats. Yeah. And not even in my studio, because I don't work here that often. So you see, she gets a bit wet, but I also do. And for me it's normal, I'm a waterman. Aquarius. I just told her, I wonder how her curly hair will look when I dry this hair. And how much the waves come back again, because when you comb them down, you can easily straighten them out. One thing is certain, I've got all the hairs being cut by this haircut. All the smallest lines laying on top also being cut. Coming to her left side, Parta has always in the same line as the normal lines of the skull. Set the hairs aside. Go to the bob line, watch at the natural lines. And 
connect all the lines. And just like the other side, in this length I only cut the ends of the upper hair. So I know for sure that both lengths are the same. Come to the upper hair, take the hair up, and just on the center of the skull, take away a bit of the length, just to give it a round shape. So just that part, I take away. Also, I know now that I've cut, cut all the hairs and not left over anything. And when she goes swimming, both sides will certainly be as long as the other side because the hairs in the natural lines lay a bit to the right. So when they would travel to the left while she's swimming, it could be possible that the right side hangs over to the left side and it looks a bit silly. And by taking off the, only this part of the hairs, both lengths on both sides are the same. And for so far cutting, so now I can make her a uh, highlight color when she wants lighter uh, lights into her hair. I don't think I'm going to work with a bleach, I think I'm going to work with a highlight because it's more uh, healthy for the hairs. But also it's uh, summertime in Holland for uh, even two months now. So it lights up also a lot by the sun. Make it Okay. I'm going to take a little want wat de blondering doet, de blondering haalt de rek uit je haar. En dat wil ik niet. Ik wil dat je haar gewoon goed blijft voelen. En nou voelt het weer heel lekker omdat het net thermisch geknipt is. Dus ik ga hem een highlight doen. En een highlight die ligt je haar echt wel een heel stuk op. Maar die beschadigt je haar niet. En we kunnen hem gewoon lekker in je haar. Dus je blijft er en de beweging van je haar blijft zitten. Plus het breekt niet af. En in de zomer ligt het ook nog een stuk op. Dus het is, je haar blijft echt voelen zoals je haar hoort te voelen. En met een blondering haal je de rek uit het haar, dan wordt het wat touwig. Dat zou gewoon jammer zijn. Dat vind ik ook jammer bij jouw kleuren, bij je natuurlijke kleuren. Want het maakt gelijk veel uit. Oké, okay, Metro Color, een Metro 12 uh, Zero. En het is een nice nieuwe color. Het is een nuke. En ik denk voor highlights is het wonderful, because they are Ammonia free, parabena free, and they're wonderful for the hair. So the structure will not be damaged. Start about a centimeter above the ear. And don't uh, work with foils. I don't work with foils because I think when you lay the collars on the natural collar, you get more diversity in the collars. Use a plank and apply the highlights on the hair. This I do by twisting through the hairs. Put the plank on us. I stay away a bit from the skin. So I don't get a hard line in it. Only in the front I take a little bit of the connection of the skin. And so I do all her hair. I've got all the highlights laying on her hair, so I just lay them nice straight down. This I let develop. 
wait for about uh, without heat, but now it's heat enough because it's certainly a, a 30 degrees Celsius, so it's warm enough. I leave it this way, we're going for tea or coffee or water and we'll be back after the color rinsed out. Hello, we're back. After 35 minutes I rinsed it out. Just washed it with a, a, a nice shampoo and a deep conditioner. Now she has curly hair, so I want to see how curly her hair is, so I use a curl product to stimulate the curls. To do so, I use rings. It's uh, a product of Lacme. I use this amount. This I massage softly into the hairs. Use a new brush. This brush is specially made uh, to do wet products with, but also coloring. <coughs> it's a bit also like a tangle tea, so it has different lengths of teeth. Bring this in the hair, so all the product will be everywhere around the hairs. So it spreads, it's very nice. And I'm going to dry this hair with uh, the diffuser. The bot base is actually a bot, you Now this takes some time, so I will use the diffuser to get out all the shape she has to create a nice curly effect. So I just video this a small part and then come back when it's dry. Now drying goes very slowly because you see how hot it is. It's sweating like hell. But it's dry. To support curly hair I use a little bit of power paste of Keune. Bring it onto my fingers and just softly go in at the roots. And every time go back. And then I'm going to stimulate the curls. <laughs> Somebody whistling. The nice thing of power paste is that it's it gives the same effect as a hairspray, but you can also give a lot of power on the base of the hairstyle. Especially when you do it with your fingertips. And there a hairspray never comes. With a little bit of hairspray, I secure the hairstyle. Now, so far, hair hairstyle. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope next time it's not this hot anymore. She will certainly turn so you can see her hairstyle. This is a new hairstyle. I thank you for being my model. Until next time. Bye bye. Lieve schat, je mag een rondje draaien. Open haar, hè? Dank je wel.